Over 1,000 transit truck drivers have been left stranded at the transit yard at the Tema Harbour for past for the past one month. Well, this has been attributed to shortage of tracking devices suspected to be issued by GCNet, a service provider for the port. But sources at GCNet blame the drivers, saying they do not return the tracking devices. Transit drivers who ply from Tema to Ouagadougou. Business has virtually come to a standstill for them because they can't get access to the tracking device that they fix on their tracks, which monitors their movement. This, according to port authorities, they have run short of the tracking device. The tracking device was introduced by government and issued by GCNet to check diversion of goods by some truck drivers who ply the landlocked countries. Each driver pays $50 per device, which is expected to be returned upon arrival at their destination. The law makes it mandatory that each driver must fix it after loading at the port. Drivers say they have been left stranded without the device. The big problem is most of the problem even didn't come from an agent, right up from the owners of the goose. Because last week, more than 60 trucks outside with the rice, and the device is with them. And the truck, they didn't collect the advance for them to go to Burkina. So the device shorted here. People will be here for months, sometimes weeks, and you will not get your device. And somebody will come here today and they will give him the device because a big man call and give the car number out and they will give it out. But those that they see that, you know Ghana, those that they see they cannot read and write very well, they will be here for weeks, which is unfair. As a result, over 500 trucks already loaded inside the port are stacked, adding on to the congestion there. The situation is affecting their business and slowing down trade. But the two ministers from the Trade and Industry and Transport are short of a solution to the challenge when they interacted with the drivers. We say that uh, we've been able to have a good conversation with the people who are involved. Uh, we've identified some of the key problems and uh, we will quickly move into action to make sure that the issues are addressed as quickly as possible. Ghana wants to be the center of ECOWAS trade and investment and we cannot succeed in doing so if we are unable to make this terminal efficient enough for 150 to 200 vehicles every single day to come in and get out. That's the target. We must be targeting 200 or more vehicles coming in every day and getting out every day. However, a source at GCNet placed the blame squarely at the doorstep of the drivers as they are mandated to return the device upon arrival at their destination.